Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Crack and Packs MTG. Tonight I have a extremely random buy off of Facebook. I was buying some other things and the guy's like, hey, I've got a couple Core 19 fat packs and I will put them on you real cheap. And I said, well, go right ahead. I don't really love Core 19, but there are a few cards in here that have went up in value, worth a couple bucks. Uh, we want Nickel Bolas, the Ravager, and I think one of the Uncommons, the Stitcher Supplier, is actually one of the most valuable cards in the set now. Outside of the Mythic slot, there's not a ton of value, but we'll see what we can come up with here. This is just a fun opening. Just because I've got nothing better to do. So we got 30 fresh packs of Core 19 in front of us. Let me get all the trash out of the way here. And of course, we like to do giveaways on the channel. So tonight, we will be giving away a Goblin Lackey with the Secret Layer artwork done by Mike Uziel, Uzel, however you want to pronounce it. I probably butchered that, but sorry. And two packs of Thornell Drain to go with it to just sweeten the deal. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. Mythic right off the bat, Elder Dragon, Palladia Moors, and a Foil Frilled Sea Serpent. That's the guy we're looking for. So right now we are right at a week before Theros drops. What are you guys looking forward to out of that set? What's the the biggest card, uh, the, the one you've got to have? Alpine Moon, another decent rare of the set. All right, for Core 19, starting out, we're not doing terrible. Because this could, this could totally be a disappointment as far as value goes. Wind Reader Sphinx, really cool art. Not worth a whole lot. And speaking of Theros, I think Friday... On the pre-release, I'm going to try to get to my local game store early and do an opening Magistrate Scepter at the game store for you guys and get that uploaded. That way, maybe you don't have to wait that extra week to the street release to see these packs cracked. And if the, uh, the store owner has any, that's what we're after. That is like a 3 or $4 uncommon now. If the store owner has a couple extra pre-release packs, I'll try to grab those too. That way we can open on the channel. I think that'll be interesting. Thorn Lieutenant. Not too shabby. Graveyard Marshal, what a creepy looking guy. And what is in his hand? Is that just like pure graveyard energy or did he sneeze and get some green stuff there? Millstone, Enigma Drake, oh, Sarkhan Fireblood, another mythic. I know there's been a little discussion and rumors going around lately about the fat packs and the, you know, pre-release packs and things like that being seeded with a little bit better cards. And I don't know if there's any data to prove it or not, but it does seem like these, these have a little better ratio of foil and mythics and chase rares in them.
But unless we get somebody to open a million of them and, and get some hard data, I don't think we'll ever know for sure. Demon of Catastrophes and a foil spark tongue dragon. Another Alpine Moon, doubling up on that card. What are some things you guys would like to see on the channel? Do you just want to continue to see packs open or is there uh some other magic content you'd like me to cover, pivot to. Just give me some ideas. Dragon Sword. Or we can just stick to cracking packs. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a lot of fun. Reliquary Tower. Good Uncommon. We'll set that to the side. And a double magistrate scepter now. I'm really glad with Core 20, they, oh, another Reliquary Tower. They really upped the ante. I mean, that's a, I've never seen as much value in one set as I have with that one. With the higher foil pull rate, the... Just strong rares and uncommons, even if they're just worth a buck or so. It kind of helps average out over the life of the box. Just the just the value. Vivian's invocation. I think I think Wizards did a fantastic job. Get on to this one. Another Graveyard Marshal. And a Foil Luminous Bonds. And as bad as this set was, one of my favorite cards came out of this. And we'll see if we hit one. Um, looking for a Fountain of Renewal. That's a neat card. That Fountain of Renewal, before rotation... There was so much mono red around, and that was the perfect foil to that deck. You could drop it turn one, and it would definitely slow that deck down. Oh, <laughs> Omniscience. That is a very good mythic, and I forgot it was in here. I'm glad we got it. And there's a lot of times where I drop a second Fountain of Renewal. And a mono red player would just scoop because there was no way they could they could keep enough gas in their hand to to beat that much life gain. Gore Claw, Terror of Calcisma. That's a weird card. Legendary Bear. Are people still trying to make bears a thing? I remember when Modern Horizons was released, the uh the Bear Queen was in it, and, and people were scrambling to make a bear deck. Detection Tower with a Foil Marauder's Axe. We've got quite a few of these Nickel Bolas tokens. So we're hoping he'll make an appearance. Another Windreader Sphinx. Man, there's crazy duplication across these three fat packs. Or bundles, excuse me. Let me use the correct, politically correct term. Elvish Clan Collar. I'd like to close out with a uh, another mythic, a Bolus or a Crystal of War Worlds. A Vivian would be okay. Liliana's contract. Just to spice the video up a little bit. A 
<laughs> the duplication is unreal. There we go, Fountain of Renewal. That is one of my absolute favorite cards. I don't know why. It just is. Oh, there we go. Tezzeret hiding here. And a, the foil lands, they always trick me. Even if there's not a, a good rare land cycle in the set, I see a foil rare and it makes my heart skip a beat every single time. Sun Cleanser. Down to our last three packs. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Who's tired of seeing this guy? Are they going to print him a thousand times? Probably so. Sleep. And another Demon of Catastrophes. This is just so odd. With there being so many duplicate rares. Another mythic apex of power that costs one million mana. And a foil dwindle. Last pack, we need some luck. All in all, this was a decent, pretty good opening for Core 2019 because it could have been an absolute disaster. And there's another duplicate rare. We had a couple good hits, nothing major. Um, we got we got a Tezzeret. We got the Omniscience. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. A couple Alpine Moons, a Sarkon, Stitcher Supplier. Yeah, not not bad at all. For for Core 2019, it could have been much much worse. So, just remember to be subscribed. Give me a like. Leave me a comment. Go over to Instagram, hit me up there too. And I'm going to give you a little baby goblin with a pacifier. And a couple packs. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good night.